This time we are going to paint the war one, the Norgel bar one from Warhammer Underworlds. Okay, I'm going to paint these two miniatures. I will do one for the base, one tutorial to do the base that will include this small guy, and then I'm going to do another tutorial for this lady and another one for this guy here. Okay, for the third guy, I already painted because I wanted to see how it was looking like, and this is the scheme I'm going for. Okay, you can see the paint job on him. Okay, so this is what uh, this is my objective, and I'm going to do the base uh, first. Okay, so the first part, this first tutorial will be the base, and later on we are going to do uh, the miniature. So let's start with the base. I remove this from the base, and I make my life easy to start with that. And we are going to apply first two contrast paints. I want to go very dark. Okay, uh, on, on the base as you can as you have seen. So I'm going to apply um, Zygor Brown on the base. Or we can apply Zygor Brown or Wilwood, the one that you like it. But I, in that case, I will apply Zygor Brown. is quite dark. I try to avoid to go over the the branches and the different elements that we have there. Even over these stones I would little avoid. We have some little worms or larva or larvae on the on the base. So I will do this and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use ba Basilicanum Gray on the stone. I will try to avoid to go over the worms and over the fingers of the foot of this lady. And if we contaminate a little bit with the brown, I am not too concerned because the stones always have dirtiness and other elements. I will do the whole stone. I also will do these things here. You see, I contaminate completely with the Brown. By mistake, I did the, the worm. Okay, then we will hope I don't forget it later on. This is why I don't want to cover them, but okay, if they cover, it's not the end of the world because they go in a different color. And if you forget a worm, nobody will notice. You can see I let the brown to go over the rocks. You can see. Then I take more grey and I make sure that the grey is the dominant color on top. I'm not concerned if it's this looks garbage because here we, the, the meter will cover most of this and will not be visible, so don't don't spend too much time there. And if some parts of the rock they look darker, don't worry either. Okay. What you have to avoid is this here, okay? You see that there was a part without coverage. Now we need to wait at all this device. It can take some time. And I'm back. Okay, next step, I'm going to use Racker Flesh and I'm going to divide the rock. I can go a little bit here because I want to brush this one as well. 
very lucky like that is okay. And now I'm going to take that cloud brown. We are going to do a brush very softly on the You need to be to do the same everywhere. We are going to paint now the the worms that we have different places. So I'm going to apply on them uh, right one. Checking that I'm not missing anyone. Okay. I'm going to take now Bane Blit Brown. Okay, let me see if I find it. Um, okay, I will I have it here in my white palette. I will take Bane Blit Brown. I will paint these small things. And I will have now the base ready. Need to just put a little bit of wash. So on the worms, I'm going to put no black line flesh sheet. him first a base of flesh color and I will use a contest paint for that we can use for example Gilliman flesh any you can use any flesh that you like it okay, Gilliman is quite a mid tone and I'm going to apply this I will apply it all over the, the guy Later on, we're going to do the, the holes and so on. Okay, so we do that, and then we wait that this device applying the Gilliman because it's a color that we can put it now. The guy, and then we will be able to put the guy back to the base. Okay, the horns will go in a different color. So, I, uh, although I went over one of the horns, I will not take too much. this Okay. And now I will wait at this device and I come back for the next step. Okay. Now the the previous 
mm, contrast half dry and I'm going to apply now a green contrast on top. So we are going to apply now the contrast um, military green and this will give a green filter to the flesh that will match very nicely with the Nargal demon. Okay. I will put it in try to avoid the, the to dirtan the the school. Okay, and I try not to put too much so that the pink or the flesh tone is also visible. Wonder everywhere that we are going to pick them up later on. Okay, you can see. So I will do this and then I will wait this device before doing any other step. Okay, and I will be back. This is how it looks like once the wash. But the, the contrast have dry and now I'm going to use um, flake one flesh and I will cover the holes. And I will do the school on the base as well. And then I will use red bone for the small worms that he has on top. I think it's one here and one here. Out. So we will use just a dark green to cover the mistake a little bit. Okay. Next, I want to do the highlights, and here is where I'm hesitating. If I will use, I will do, do first. I will use. Cadian flesh tone, and we are going to make some highlights on pinkish color or fleshy tone. Okay, so I'm using this one. Any flesh color will work. This way, we are going to give. tonality so this guy making it look more disgusting from my point of view I 
take a little bit more. Something like that. And when in some places are too evident, we are going to apply a filter later on. To make them less evident. Okay, I will finalize doing this. Okay, and then I will be back for the next step. Okay, this code looks like no. And I'm going to apply a wash of um, camo shade. I think it's Canothian camo shade or something like that. The label is damaged. Try not to do it on there. Okay, this is more transparent in that case, the wash. So the filter will be, then it will keep a lot of the pinkish part, but making the transition softer. But it's not to do it in the school. Now we will wait at this device and I'm back. Okay, next I'm going to use Seraphine Sepia on the school and horns. And I waited this device. Okay, this is how it looks like now that we have done the the wash. And now I'm going to paint the eyes. I'm going to use a bright red. I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet. Okay, and we're going to give this guy some bright red eyes.
and I can use now a little bit of orange we can use uh, Fire Dragon Bright to make the, uh, a point on the eyes brighter Okay, that is enough. I'm going to take now the Mezzi Desert. Not this one, sorry. This one. And I'm going to paint the different pustules. a little bit of Canyon Face Stone here on the, the tail that is too big so. I will do the same on the here on the face Now I'm going to take blood for the blood god. I'm going to put it on the two open wounds that he has. Like that. I'm going to use Wraith Bomb. And I will touch. Teeth. 
<coughs> Sorry. And now I will use a flat one. I flip um, I with air shade. And I will apply it on this hole. I want it to give a darker color on the school. And as well on the horns. Like that. As you can see I only applied on the base. And then I will use no Regland flesh shade. And I will apply it on the swarms. The worms here. Right here. Okay. And as well. We can apply it on top of the crystals. And that's all. So we have now the base ready. And we are ready to put now the character and start painting the character. So here I will stop part one. That is preparing the base. How I do the base for this type of guys. Especially this one that have the Norgling. Or this type of small demon. And then the second part, we are going to start painting. Uh, we are going to start painting she. Okay. So I hope you have liked it. Please give a like if you like it. Let me know what do you think. And keep tuned if you want to know how I will paint this uh, witch. Yes, it's a witch, a Norgal witch or Norgal sorcerer. Okay. That's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.